this holiday weekend, hit the beach at your own risk. Among the top concerns, a slew of recent shark attacks. This stunning cell phone video appears to show a shark swimming back and forth just feet from shore along South Padre Island, Texas, Thursday, with the Department of Public Safety helicopter spotting one from above. This moments after authorities say multiple swimmers were attacked, among them Ashley Silva. I just feel like this pressure, like someone like punched me or like someone pushed the back of my leg and I just turned around as a shark. Another beachgoer hospitalized with severe leg injuries. We do not know the species. We do not know the reason why this happened. It's unprecedented here on South Padre Island. Meanwhile, in New Smyrna Beach, Florida, a man from Ohio bitten on the foot yesterday in knee deep water. Some studies showing shark attacks, while still rare, have been on the rise in recent years. Just last month, former pro surfer Tamayo Perry was killed by a shark in Hawaii. Lifeguards advising everyone to be on alert. Expert tips to avoid sharks, swim in groups. Avoid the water at dusk or dawn when sharks are most active. And if you do happen to encounter a shark, keep your movements slow and steady to avoid looking like prey. The shark headlines coming as tens of millions are expected to swarm America's beaches this holiday weekend. Officials warning swimmers to also watch out for rip currents, fast moving strips of water that can suddenly pull swimmers out to sea. If you get in, caught in a rip current, the most important thing is to relax, stay calm, don't panic. Another concern, contamination. Authorities in 10 states closing or posting advisories at roughly 100 beaches with high levels of bacteria, warning exposure can cause gastrointestinal illness and skin infections. Hidden hazards lurking beneath the surface as Americans celebrate the holiday weekend in the water. And Maggie, a lot of the advice, of course, around beach safety centers on swimming near lifeguard stations. But there is a shortage of lifeguards this summer still, right? Yeah, Peter, add that to the list of concerns. So officials say if you do find yourself in a spot, and this is affecting public pools and beaches nationwide, if you find yourself in a spot where there is a shortage of lifeguards, they say swim accordingly, play it safe, and then also read and heed any warnings about potential hazards uh, posted on signage in the area. At the same time, good old-fashioned advice, they say don't forget to stay hydrated and maybe swap that beach cocktail for some water. Uh, that's advice for a friend, Peter. That's an for me. No. Wow. Ah. All right. Okay. <laughs> Maggie. She, Maggie just called herself out. She did. You stay hydrated, Maggie. Uh, you know what the motto Thank is you. in our house when, when it comes to hydration? Yeah. Hydrate or dihydrate. Oh. That's how we get the things grim. <laughs> it, 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 yeah, you guys don't mess around with the kids. Scares them into hydration, though. Okay. Well, okay. it works. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.